feeling Snickers or Twix? I'm gonna go with Snickers. Now, I'm just gonna do Twix. Oh, well, I grabbed a Snickers. Meh. Does it really matter? If they would make a York peppermint patty coffee, done. That would be Absolutely amazing. Let's do salted caramel with it. The girls are all here. Wifey said something last night that she was gonna wake me up if she got up early. Cause she's like, I'm gonna go for a run. And I was like, okay. But I think she has to be at work at 12. It's already 10. And she has to leave at 9, uh, 11.30. Or so for work. She was still have to shower and stuff, so. What, well, Luda? Hold on. Let me move this. Good morning, good morning. We got in frame. Good morning, Missy. <sighs> you know, if people didn't have their shoes and a whole bag of circle cartridges right here on the floor, I would not have stubbed my toe just now. You want some of the high protein treats? Yeah. There you go. Callie loves these, even though these are Luna's not like here. Look. Oh my goodness. Nixie. Come on. Here. Come on. Come on. Like, look at what, she's just like, what the fuck are these treats? Look. <laughs> and she like, Luna. Look, Callie's gonna go get your treats. She said, fuck you. I don't want that nasty shit. These cats, I swear. They are so bougie. <sighs> so we are on the waiting list for the vet. Luna, what are you doing? Do you want your tuna and pumpkin? All right, Luna's is there. Nixie, do you want, here, let me pick these plates up. Cause they're last night's. There we 
go. All right, hi, Nixie. Why is this knocked off? What were y'all doing? Oh, it's upside down. Put it on upside down. Okay. Such big personalities. There's Luna's your plate. Nixie, what are you gonna order? She is not bothered by you. Do you have PTSD? Come on. Stop. I'm putting your plate here. Just, you're fine. She is not bothered by you. Nick, stop. Here. Eat your damn breakfast. There we go. There we go. All right. Nixie's breakfast. Luna, you ready for your breakfast? Today you're having tuna and pumpkin. This is your last one. I don't know if Daddy ordered you more. I hope. I think he said he did. Hold on. Ugh. I gotta squeeze this one out of here. It's more runny than the other ones. Look, Callie's like, I didn't have. Callie, did you have your treats and Luna's treats? Do you eat all the treats? Oh my goodness, you are leaning so hard. Okay, there you go. Mm. What is up, friends? So, I'm in the backyard. I'm getting ready to get in the pool, get my laps in, get my stuff going. Um our guy came this morning and started cleaning up all the wood and stuff which i'm so super happy because it's starting to look so much nicer and so much better um so before i get in the pool i don't even think brayden knows that i'm outside but i didn't even tell him i just came out because he's playing with his friends and whatever but i have these solar lights that i want to put around the pool we also have a inflatable donut and we have a this is Braden's little donut and of course I have my we have goggles and I have my thing I'm gonna just put them on the um, and this is my case that I put you guys in <clears throat> So I am going to put the lights on around the pool and I'm going to go get in and then maybe get some like color to me, get some sun and like I said, get my laps in and do the damn thing. So I will see you guys probably on live. I'm just catching up on all the Amberlynn and Becky drama because Becky's like, oh, okay. Her ex, she's like, oh, you want to say X, Y, Z? Okay. I see you, sis. So, but yeah, so I got earplugs. I'm using the old ladder. So this is the old ladder. Like I would not get on this or trust this to save my life, but I want to get like a pieces of wood and make like a shelf. You know what I'm saying? And put like all of our like little stuff on it. My lemonade is down there. I put my lemonade in the water. So, all right, let me get these lights on, get caught up on the drama, and I will see you guys very soon. I just got so damn dizzy blowing up that freaking inner tube in there. Phew. All right, and of course, look now. It's fixing the rain already, and I just checked the radar, and we're supposed to have thunderstorms by 3. 
So hopefully I can get my laps in. We can get some little R&R &R in and get in the pool. So annoying. <laughs> What's up good people so we're just lounging we got our rings closed so now we're just like lounge it's starting to rain we don't hear any thunder or light or see any lightning yet we're I'll just so we got our rings closed we did our live stream in the pool so yeah I swear we're getting out. I mean, we're already wet, but now all of our towels and stuff are getting wet. He doesn't want to move. But the temperature is dropping too. Alright, wait till we hear that thunder. We're going to be getting out of here. What's up, good people? So, just got out of the shower. It's almost 3 o'clock. Um, I still have a piece of chicken from the other day. I'm going to heat this up, and this is going to be part of my lunch. I am heating up the pizza from last night, the leftover pizza from last night. Um, it's actually kind of dark. I should turn the light on. Um, when we were getting out, it started thundering really bad, and we are like, oh, we got to go. I told Brayden, I said, we got to roll out. This one is my absolute favorite salad, mainly because of this damn sweet onion dressing. This sweet onion dressing is to live for. And I think it's made by the same, I think what Dole makes or whatever brand makes the um, salad kit. I have seen people comment begging for them to produce. Look at that huge piece of cabbage. Mm. Okay. But yeah. That dressing is to die for. I, I stole a small piece of Brayden's pizza. The poster oven is he. Okay. So, there is an ongoing feud in my house. Okay? As many of you know, me, hubby, and wifey, we all had gastric flat tires. It's not, it's not a big secret. Okay? However, here's the thing. So, wifey is what? April, May, June. She's three months out now. She's lost 30, 40 pounds already. She's a skinny bitch now. Okay. Hubby is so quick to give everybody advice on his weight loss, but he don't do it. He drinks a six pack of Mountain Dew every day he eats carbs galore he eats meat and cheese and he gets his protein and that's all he focuses on okay so then you got me over here and i'm always on struggle street because i don't know if you guys can see luna because I have Hashimoto's and my weight loss team, of course, didn't know enough and they give people with thyroid issues false hope. This is still good. Oh, that's that's not good. That is rotten chicken. Oh, that smells awful. I am so glad I saw that before I ate it. Oh, that's nasty. Well, what the hell? Okay, you know what? We got other stuff I can cut up. That was awful. That chicken was raw. I just, I feel like I just made that. 
That was gross. Okay. New plan. Um, you know what? Hush has got these steak bowls. Um, Luna, ex back up. Don't you hiss at me. All right, let's try this again with some protein. But anyway, hubby is so quick to be like, you know, give everybody and tell everybody else what to do, but he doesn't do what he's supposed to do. But he's so quick to tell everybody what they're doing, like, you know, you know, you know how it is. I have Hashi Hashimoto's, we know this, Hashimoto's, but for my new people, I have Hashimoto's and lymphedema lipedema, okay? And my weight loss team, I feel like give people with this disorder false hope on weight loss. Because I wasn't told after every 20 pounds you lose, you need to get your thyroid check and readjust, readjusted um, according to your weight loss. I didn't know that. I lost 80 pounds and stalled. I stalled for years. Then I gained 30 pounds and I have been I have been stalled at in the 260s again my four year anniversary. So for the last year in so 2020 I had my surgery in 2019 August of 19 2020 was my lowest weight. I still never hit my 229 goal weight. That is my goal weight 229. And the lowest I've been was like 232, 233. It was like I saw, I saw the um, 220. She's trying to get this steak. I saw the weight loss. Would you? Okay, you want, this is your piece now. Hold on. I'll chop it up for you. Here. Not that I would never not eat after my own cats, but there you go. Get your protein, baby. So I have different dietary needs than hubby, than wifey. Like everybody's weight loss surgery is different. Hubby's always like focus on your meats and your cheeses. Focus on your proteins, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, that's fine. I shouldn't even be eating cheese because it's a inflammatory thing. I shouldn't be eating as much dairy as I should because it's a inflammatory issue. And I have inflammation and plus with the lymph lymphedema, you should have a whole like special diet for that, which is the keto diet, you know, but because of Because of my issues, I have leaky gut where I don't absorb. You already don't absorb your medicine as a person with Hashimoto. Oh, sorry, with Hashimoto's thyroid disease, you already don't absorb your vitamins and nutrients. Then add weight loss surgery to it, and you're still not getting the shit that you need. You know, and so. My doctors are like, you need to focus on fruits and vegetables. You still can hit your protein goals, but she's like, you need to focus on, um, you need to focus on your fruits and vegetables. Hubby's like, she doesn't understand weight loss surgery. Yes, I poured this whole thing on there. I don't care. It's a very delicious thing. And it's like, oh, carbs and calories. It's really not that bad. And I like it. Anyway, what did I have for breakfast today? I had crab dip for breakfast. The leftover crab dip from Sunday. I had the crab dip and stuff. That's all I had. Nixie, do you want a piece of steak? And she's like, what's Luna over here eating? I want some too. Here. All right. 
So hubby turns his nose up and he like shakes his head and he was like, you need to be focusing on this and you need to be focusing on that. And he's like, you don't need vegetables. You don't need fruits. You need to eat your meat and cheese. I'm like, but cheese is anti-inflammatory. I'm not supposed to be eating as much cheese as I do. I eat a lot of cheese. I shouldn't even, speaking of, I want some cheese. Um, but like, I get these kinds of cheeses, the low fat mozzarella or, you know, mozzarellas and stuff, you know? And he's like, you need to do this. And I was, he's just like, I was like, my endocrinologist, because my last appointment, I asked her, and she's like, you of all people need more. I said, even with weight loss surgery, she's like, even with weight loss surgery, she's like, your body already doesn't absorb your vitamins and minerals. She's like, as many vitamins and minerals you can get in, it will help. It'll help with your metabolism. She's like, your metabolism's already super slow. She's like, it will help. I'm like, okay. So I told her about the great debate and then she's like, no, she's like, you have different dietary needs. You have a completely different system from everybody else. She was like, you can't eat what everybody else eats. She was like, cause I told her, I was like, I love salads. She's like, salads are great. She's like, they're a great source of this vitamin, that vitamin, and uh, she's like, your greens and stuff. She said, they're great for your thyroid and for your support and stuff. But like, hubby gets mad when I buy them. So, I don't know. It's like, I feel like he thinks he knows everything, but he definitely doesn't. But I'm a salad whore, and I love salad, and I just say you know what it's better for you i'm still getting my protein i have a cup of steak in here i have bacon and i have cheese i shouldn't be eating the red meat but it'll be fine it's delicious so but any of my besties out there Who've had gastric bypass? Do you guys eat veggies? Do you guys eat salads? Or do you stay away from them? Let me know. Well, on that note, I'm going to go eat my salad. It's freaking amazing. I'll show you after a bit. What I got is I got for my son. So this is a print handwriting workbook for adults. Now the reason why I got this for my son, oh wow. Um, the reason why I got this for my son is because his handwriting sucks and he's going back to in-person school. So, <laughs> because his handwriting sucks. He's done everything on the computer. He hasn't really written anything. So I got him. Oh, they have a gratitude journal. So like I said, I got this from Amazon. It's only six bucks, but it's a hundred pages. And it's, I'm gonna have him write his name and it says, I set goals and I reach them and smart, capable and valuable. And then it's literally like it starts off with the letters. So practice one, learning your letters or learning letters, practice your ABCs, trace the letters. This is just, I mean, it's for adults, but it's just to practice. So it's got the alphabet and then it goes, this is still the alphabet. And then it goes into three letter words. And then it goes into four letter words. And then it goes into, well now it's doing numbers, days of the week, months, um, 
how quickly daft jumping zebras vex. I don't know what the hell that means. Oh, they're panagrams. So then it goes into panagrams and then it goes into like writing quotes and then poems and then the speech. So you like trace it on this side and then you write it on that side. So this is for him and he's gonna be doing that. Let's see, there's a hundred pages. How many days until school starts? We'll just say 60. He'll have to do enough. Okay, oh, and this is my new pool filter. So when I went to Walmart, I bought the wrong ones. I bought ACs, but I need the B pool filter. So this was only like six bucks, but it's the big mumba jumbo. So I had to order that, but I just wanted to share that workbook in case you have kids or anything too that are like, their handwriting is legit chicken scratch. Get them a book like this. So I got him that book. And I am, I need to clean my cake corner because I really do need to do um, some pride stuff. So I'm going to go get crack -a on that. What is up, my good people? Nixie, what are you doing? So we are fixing to make some dinner. Are these the older ones? Yes, these are the older ones. So we are going to make... I keep looking because I don't know where Nixie is. Some. Oh, God damn, Nix. It's not. This ain't for you. This isn't your dinner. Is it to. Oh, my goodness. Is it time for your dinner? Oh, my goodness. Are you letting me know? You're letting everybody know that you're hungry. You know, I just cleaned up here, right? Of course you do. But you don't care. Because you want your food. Hold on. She is so... We ran out of Luna's food. So, she is ridiculous. Let's pick this one up and throw it away. We have a routine. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Did you intercept me? Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. What? Come on. Oh my goodness, my little girl. Okay, hold on. All right. So, Nixie's now fed. Oh my, look at these two. Mm. I don't have any more of Luna's food. Look, and now here comes Luna. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let me just double check. Because I think there's like one pack. <sighs> They're just like the kids. Alright. All I have is this. The creamy chicken and vegetables. So I'll just give her this. Okay, but Luna, you can't eat right here, honey. Hold on. You can't, do you not like this? Okay, I guess you're just gonna eat here. Okay. That's fine, whatever. Okay, so. I got my peppers. I'm just gonna use these. Here I have some pork and ground beef mix. I'm gonna put this in the pan. Okay, not that I can really do anything right now <laughs> because Luna is eating her dinner. I moved Nick's down there because I just cleaned. Luna, you're making a mess. Nixie, you just had your food. Are you done? Because I'm going to move it. All right. 
well hell anyway i'm gonna take these peppers i'm gonna cut them in half these are still these are a little soft but i have my big pot i'm gonna put them in the pot and i'm gonna boil them just for a little bit just to make them like so they're not so hard and then i'm gonna put them in my little baking tray and then we're gonna top them with the meat mixture and I know I have taco seasoning. Um, I need to add taco seasoning to my, um, you know what? I'm just gonna use this salsa con queso. Um, yes, I do have taco seasoning. I wonder if wifey would stop. I was gonna text her, but she was having a really shitty day today so i decided against it you don't need you can put ranch on top of it like you can put ranch on tacos i know people who do that or whatever so i got a can of diced tomatoes just regular diced tomatoes and then i have i bought this salsa con queso but you guys can make this yourself a can of just put some Velveeta and um a can of uh chili tomatoes and whatever and then of course i got my taco seasoning mix so i'm gonna wait for this i'm gonna preheat the oven and of course put cheese on top because cheese on cheese like i just said earlier how i shouldn't be eating cheese because it is um an anti-inflammatory and people with hashimoto shouldn't be eating it what are you gonna do that's like basically my diet is cheese cheese and meat meat and cheese so, I need to find my thyroid reset diet book. I really need to find that. Remember when we found it at Ollie's and I got it and then I haven't, I put it, I sat it somewhere and I haven't been able to find it since. So, that's frustrating. But yeah. So, let me, and I didn't get any of my pride stuff done, but I will. The day, it's still early. The night's still young. So... But yeah, so this is um, a sausage and ground beef mixture. So this is gonna be good, good for nachos. And all this shit is falling every fucking where. Okay. All right, so it's still kind of frozen right here. Ooh. Okay, Luna, are you done so I can clean the fucking counters again? Because I literally just cleaned them and then Nick's jumped up there. <clears throat> okay. So, alright. I'll see y'all in a minute. Alright everybody, I'm also trying to make a TikTok making these. So, all I did was literally just cut my peppers in half. And I just cut the tops off and took the seeds out. I'm going to bring this to a quick boil and just to get them a little bit soft. This is ready. So now I'm going to pour in my tomatoes. I just took some of the grease out with a paper towel. And I'm going to let this cook up a little bit. So we got the tomatoes and now we're gonna add the taco seasoning all right we got our tomatoes and we got our taco seasoning in here i'm gonna bring this up i just cranked the heat up on it just for it to like boil up a little bit these are fixing to boil so these will be coming out shortly and going right into this pan all right i'm cooking some of the fluid and some of the liquid out of here and I'm getting ready to start adding my cheese. And these are almost done to put well hell wifey's home. But now I'm putting the cheese in the taco mixture. Always gotta ruin the party. Right, wifey just went upstairs. I'm getting ready to put this in the oven. I have my meat mixture on, of course. I just topped it with the shredded cheese. 
And now we are going to bake this until all the cheese is melted. She's storming. It is a uh, big mad out there. Oh my. It is pouring down. Whew. All right, she isn't looking like much, but I just took her out of the oven. Let's serve her. All right, friends. We got her on a plate. She ain't looking the best. Let's try some of this. That's good. It looks really nasty out right now. Has me a little worried. I'm getting stuff delicious. Let's get a piece of that pepper. Mm. Here we go. She messy, but. Mm. God dang, that's good. I don't even think you need any more cheese or taco sauce. If I have some sour cream, sour cream, it will be it. But it it's it. Just how it is. Mmm. In the famous words of Amber Lundgren, I did that. I did that. Happy eating. Alrighty, friends. It is time to wrap the night up. Time to feed the fishies. Feed Valentina. Her tank. This little tank is so dirty now. Like, so fast. Because it gets so warm in there. But at least I know in the winter time she'll be nice and toasty. Okay. Alright friends. I'm wrapping this up. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. I love you guys all oh so, oh so very much. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!